Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm coming to you with a favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video since my 2019 favorites. So it's been seven to eight months. So I thought it was about time to do a favorites video. I used to do these videos every other month, but during the quarantine I haven't been using or buying new products. I haven't really been using makeup so much in general and I didn't want to do a favorites video just to do a favorites video. I really want to have products to talk about and I think I have been accumulating a few products the past few months. I also thought it was about time to do a project and pan update so stay until the end of the video to see that. Yeah, let's start. I haven't really worn my hair straight in a very long time and it feels kind of weird. Um, I used to straighten my hair all the time. Actually this whole year I haven't really been using heat on them almost at all and that that does help your hair. That was a lot of damage. But today my hair was way too messy to keep it natural. So I thought I would just give it a little bit of help. Anyways, speaking of hair, that was not intended. My first favorite is a shampoo. This is the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. I have been using it, I think, around the beginning of the year I bought it. I'm not exactly sure, but I've been using it for many months now. Maybe it was last year. I cannot remember when it was. Let me, let me check, actually. I got it from Beauty Bay, if you're interested. Anyways, I cannot find it right now. This is a shampoo that does not have sulfate, silicones or parabens. Briogee is a very nice brand that do care about being as natural as possible, from what I understand at least. They do not use all those harsh ingredients. And it is a great brand if you're trying not to use drugstore some shampoos anymore, because they do have a lot of sulfates that dry out your hair and your scalp. They do have silicones, they do have parabens and all that stuff. This is obviously not as affordable as a drugstore brand. I think it was around $20 this shampoo I'm not sure this is uh, 369 mils and it has lasted me for many months and I do have quite a bit left besides the fact that this does not have a lot of those ingredients that you don't want to have in your shampoo this smells amazing just like I said this is a banana and coconut scent honestly I love the way this smells so much. It's not your typical banana scent. It's even better. And the smell does stay on your hair for a long time, which I really like that. I've heard a lot of good things about Briogeo in general. They're a very nice brand that do think about the environment too, which is also a plus. I do want to try other products too. I haven't tried their conditioner yet because I had another conditioner that I wanted to finish first, but I will try it in the future. This has definitely become my favorite shampoo. I get a little bit bored of shampoos and I feel like <laughs> I need to change things up a little bit. So I might try not a different scent or something, but I'll definitely go back to this one at the end. All right, next product. I have a body scent. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. Now, <laughs> this is big. <laughs> when I purchased this online, I did not realize how big this was gonna be, which I'm happy because you get your money's worth. So typically, I don't use body mist. I prefer to use regular fragrances because they tend to last longer on the skin. And this does not really last that long, but this is a very nice, um, how can I say this? Mild fragrance. This is what you want to smell when you just came out of the shower. I'm very happy that I bought it right before the summer started because this this is summer in a bottle. This is the same scent as their very famous Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I really, really love. This is quite intense. When I first bought it, I bought it because everybody was talking about it and I really want to try what is this scent that people can't stop talking about. So I bought it and I used it and I did like it, but I felt like this is a little bit intense and overwhelming. But then I kept using it. I'm actually almost done with this one. But yeah, I kept using it because I did like it. And the intensity of the smell does go away throughout the day. I do like that it lasts long on your skin. But yeah, I was like, I get it. I love it. But this is not a holy grail product. I think I will buy it again when I run out of it because I do like it. But this, this is a lighter version of that. And I prefer it so much more. And when I do want to smell like this, I just spray this all over my body and it smells 
so good without being too overwhelming yeah it does not last as long as perfume but i don't mind because first of all i have a lot of this and i can spray it throughout the day as much as i want this has become a new favorite of mine i did not expect it to like it as much because yeah sure i did like this one but i thought maybe it will be as overwhelming as this but it wasn't and I love it. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using it throughout the winter because this is definitely a summer scent. But yeah, this has definitely become a favorite of mine. Okay, next product is the Origins Ginseng SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer. I've got this quite recently and this might be a little bit of cheating, but I have fallen in love with this product. I did not expect to like it as much as I do. This was actually something that my sister gave to me because she did not like it so much. She felt it was a little bit greasy on her, but I do not feel like that on my skin. I don't really use tinted moisturizers that much. I do have the one from Colourpop and I haven't really been using it that much, but this, I've tried it and I was like, I was very skeptical in the beginning, but the more I used it, the more I was loving how my skin looked. So when you first apply it, it's white like this. I don't know if you can see. It kind of has like small grains in it, but the more you blend it, it takes a tint to it. So then it becomes like this. Do you see the glow it gives the skin? I really love that. And I feel like the shade of it, I don't know if it's something that's supposed to match your own skin but i really like that it has kind of an olivey undertone because that matches my skin tone and i'm very happy for that it obviously does not have a ton of coverage but it is a tinted moisturizer and i have it on my face today and it evens up the whole skin tone i do go with a concealer underneath my eyes and this was that i do want a little bit of extra coverage but overall this is a great product for the face it makes my skin very glowy i do not have any kind of primer today i only have my moisturizer and then i applied this one i did not have to apply a glowy primer and also what i like about this one it almost dries down and it does not feel greasy on the skin so i'm not sure why my sister thought that this was a little bit heavy and greasy. I do not feel like that at all. But people are different, of course. This might not work for everybody as well as it does for me. So keep that in mind, maybe try it before you buy it. I'm happy that it did not work for her and it worked for me because this is something that I wouldn't normally buy. So I'm happy that I discovered something new. And it also has SPF 40, which is very good. If you forget to use your sunscreen, this has it, which is awesome. Next product is actually products. I want to talk about the nude sticks products because i have fallen so much in love with them i had the bronzer before in a blush but i have quite a few more products to talk about right now i have the same bronzer that i used to have before i have two blushes one matte and one more dewy which so good for the summer i do have a highlighter and i do have a pencil crayon magnetic luminous eye colors i love all of them i just wanted to mention them one more time because that shows you how much I love them. I love cream products in general, but especially during the summer, they are my go-to things. Bronzer, I've talked so many times about, I'm not gonna talk anymore. The blushes too. I recently used this dewy blush in my summer look that I did. Really love it too. It has a very nice natural glow and it's gonna make your skin very nice and dewy without making it look very greasy. The highlighter on the other side, I do like it a lot, but this will make your skin look wet. This does not have a lot of tint to it, which I thought it would because it looks a little bit dark, but if I swatch it and blend it out, it looks like this. I applied it here. It does not have too much tint on it, but when you apply it on your face, it's gonna make your face look wet. So some people might not like that. I don't really mind that. I think it's very nice, especially now. The glossier, and do where I look the better. And then lastly, I have the eye crayon, uh, which is very nice. I have mine, come on man, focus. The focus of my camera today is not the greatest. Okay, I give up. You can basically see the color of this crayon. This is in the sh shade Spirit. It's a cool toned brown, purple-ish shade. Yeah, 
you can probably see it now a little bit and I really like it because first of all it's a great shade but it does not move once it sets it will not move I love to use colors like this because if you use cream products they tend to crease a little bit easier so that's why I really love this one it does not crease and I can wear it throughout the day and not have to worry about my makeup creasing so that's it for the new six products <laughs> I want more shades especially in the blushes because I love them so much the formula is so good it's worth trying I highly recommend these products uh, next thing I have a mascara this is the Mon Monsia Big Mascara from Lancome this launched a few years ago and I had not tried although a lot of people talked about how much they love this mascara this is the first time I tried it about I bought it a couple of months ago I think and I really like it now it has a wand like this come on uh, I don't know I don't know what to do. I love mascaras that have this kind of wand because I want to have voluminous lashes. I don't care too much about the length of my lashes. I care more about the volume. And this is a great mascara. I also have it on today. I love it so much. This is a high-end mascara, so is it worth paying like how much? $27 I think this costs, something like that for one mascara. I am not sure. I have not decided yet. Will I repurchase it? If it's on sale, definitely. If it's not, maybe. I am so used to having drugstore mascaras because a mascara is something that you go through quite fast. I do not mind buying high-end products. I do like a lot of high-end products, but mascara, it's not 100% worth it for me. I do have the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras. And although it does dry a little bit fast, which annoys me so much, but you spend like, I don't know, $10. You don't spend $27. And yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Haven't decided yet. I really love it and I might repurchase it in the future. It's, it's a bit pricey. So, but I did want to mention this because I have been using it the past couple of months and I've been really loving it. Next, I have an eyeshadow palette. This is the Linda Halbrick Infinity Glam Palette. It looks like this. This has very beautiful shades. Warm tone, rosy shades, which I really like. The pants are very big, so you do get a lot of product for the price that you pay. Now, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I wasn't really mind blown with the product because this is not a very pigmented palette. And this is not meant to be a very pigmented palette. This is meant to be a multi-use palette. You can use on your eyes. You can also use it as bronzer, contour, blush, highlighter. It's meant to be used all over your face, not only on your eyes. So that's why it's not meant to be very pigmented. But I personally prefer eyeshadow shadows that are very pigmented that's just what I like that's just what I'm used to so when I first use it I'm like this is not giving me enough but then I use it like three days in a row I think and I started to really fall in love with it now the way I get around the pigmentation issue is that I do not set my base I do usually use a concealer as an eyeshadow base I usually set that but in this case and actually if I only want to do a matte look I usually do not set it either so that the matte eyeshadows show as much as possible I apply my concealer and then I go straight to the eyeshadows and in that way they do show a lot more intense than they would if you were to set the eyes first when I do that they look a lot more intense and and I really like it. I really love the color story of this palette and I ended up really liking this shimmer shades. I was a little bit skeptical about it but when I applied those in my eyes they looked very good. I wouldn't typically use them as a highlighter personally because I don't really love pinky highlighters but I have used this shade as a blush and I have used this shade as a contour and they look gorgeous especially this as a blush. It is so beautiful. So that's why I have been really loving the multi usefulness the multi-purposeness per multi-purpose okay i'm gonna leave it i've been really loving how um, multifunctional this palette is they are gorgeous shade i just wish they were a little bit more pigmented if it only was meant to be an eyeshadow palette but it's not it's supposed to be used all over the face so it's great for that reason this is also great if you're a beginner in makeup and you don't want to start with a very intense shade because they are a little bit more tricky to work with these are very forgiving eyeshadows I did not expect this to be a favorite of mine, but it definitely is. And also look how gorgeous this is, very beautiful. Something I also did not expect to be in my favorites in general is an eyelash glue. This is the Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. 
So this is an eyelash glue in this form. And now you might remember that I used in the past a similar eyelash glue. It was from House of Lashes. I told you how much I do not like that glue and glues that come in this form in general. My favorite glue for many years has been the duo, the original eyelash glue, which is white and it takes a little bit longer to dry. This dries a lot faster, but that wasn't good enough for me because eyelash glues that come in this form tend to stay tacky, even they're supposedly completely dry. That was the issue with the House of Lashes one. I could not stand how tacky it would stay after that. My hair would stick to my lashes and that was very annoying. This would dry completely down. And when I first bought this, I did not know that it was a formula similar to the House of Lashes glue. I thought it was this kind of formula, but with a brush. So I first tried it and was like, oh great, the same formula again, which does not dry completely. And I tried it and I remember not liking it a lot. This was sitting on my drawer for many months and for some reason i decided to use this one a few weeks ago don't know why but i'm happy that i did and then when i did it i really liked the way my lashes stayed on now my biggest pet peeve when it comes to lashes is when there is space between the lashes and your lash line it annoys me so much because it looks like you don't know how to apply lashes and that might be the case i'm not saying that i'm an expert on applying lashes i have applied a fair amount of lashes in my lifetime. I like to believe that I know what I'm doing, but still so many times I experience the space between the actual lashes and the lash line. And that happens a lot with this lash glue and it is so annoying. With this, it, it did not happen. It might be the fact that I did use a lot of lightweight lashes with this one because I have some other heavier lashes that I haven't tried using it with. I had tried using the House of Lashes glue with heavier lashes and I felt like they were a little bit too heavy for that glue to keep them on so I always returned to using this one. I've used it I think four or five times this one and every time I get compliment on my lashes. That's That doesn't really happen to me that often. People have been asking me are you wearing lash extensions and I'm like no it's just false lashes because they say they look so natural they look completely perfect like they are your actual lashes that is because when i do apply the lashes they stick exactly to the lash line it does not leave any space they stick perfectly and i've been so impressed with that i don't know what to say i have used it before and i don't remember it being that perfect this was definitely a pleasant surprise i did not expect to fall in love with the lash glue in this type of form but i'm very happy about that because now when i wear lashes i know that they are perfectly applied and obviously this dries quite fast it does not take as long as this one and that does speed things up a lot which is great and i don't feel like this stays as sticky as the house of lashes glue and it's also dual glue which means it's quite affordable not as expensive as the house of lashes glue i don't know i've been sleeping on it and <laughs> i did not realize it but i am going to try it with some heavier lashes in the future and i'll let you know how that goes but so far has been amazing now the last product that i'm gonna talk about is not a specific product but this category of products from one specific place and that is candles from H&M Home. So I really like candles. I don't light them very often, but I really like how they smell. And, and they're also very aesthetically pleasing. This one, it's so beautiful. Like, look at it. This is the mahogany. It's called a warm, sweet herb herbaceous, herbaceous scent. Floats in the air, creating a fresh and soothing calm. I don't know the notes of it. It used to have a sticker, but I removed it. So I'm not going to be able to tell you how it smells. It smells so good. But I wanted to talk about H&M candles in general because this has been the third time I buy candles from H&M Home. This is also another one. This is firewood fig. It smells so good. There is this clothing store, Stradivarius, that is in Europe. We don't have it here. They have it in many countries in Europe. The store smells so good and this reminds me a lot of how that store smells and I love it. <sighs> it's almost like a men's perfume but in a very earthy and beautiful way. You will have to smell it. If you have been to that store, you know how this smells. Also, I have this candle right here. This is definitely my favorite. This is ginger scented. 
This smells so fresh and so nice. I love it so much. And they also, all of them, they look so nice. They do have different ones. They change throughout the season, I'm guessing. I wasn't really aware of them in the past, but now that I know, I will be visiting H&M home often. And the other good thing about it is that they are quite affordable. They're not as expensive as some high-end brands out there. And also they do not smell bad as other cheap candles. Those smell so good and they're so beautiful. I have quite a few of them and it's starting to get a little bit too much. <laughs> Those were all of my favorites. I am tired of talking. I talk too much. I know that. When I'm hanging out with friends, I always get so tired <laughs> because I talk so much. People say they do not mind, but I do mind because I get so tired. But we're not done yet. We have Project 10 Pan. It's been a while since I've last updated you. I think the last time was with my empties video and that was a couple of months ago, three months ago, don't remember. But it is time for another update. But I do not remember exactly which products I added the last time, but I'm gonna go through everything. So, first of all, I went through my last skincare product that I had in my Project 10 Pan, and that is the Bixi Glow Tonic 5% Glycolic Acid. I'm not gonna talk about this again, I've talked it so many times. It is a good product, it's just not strong enough for me. And that is it. But I'm happy that I finished it. I just, I love using up products. I don't like wasting things. You know that I will suffer until I finish products. Anyways, that's the first one. Now I can finally throw it away. Another Pixie product. I'm not sure if I mentioned it the last time. I have added some products that I haven't talked about yet. I did go through the Pixie Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. This used to be one of my favorite setting sprays because this makes your skin very glowy. You have to shake it. Actually, I have another one. It looks like this. It has the oil on top and you're supposed to mix it and then spray it on your face and it gives you a very nice and dewy look very dewy i do enjoy the finish it leaves on the skin but the reason why this was in the project 10 pan is first of all i had another backup and i just wanted to use this up i didn't have that much product left so i just wanted to use it up so that i can take out my backup i've had it for a while and you know in general it's not good to keep products forever products to expire at some point. So yeah, I decided to use this one up so that I can open this one. But the other reason is that I don't really love how this product smells. And in the past, I didn't really mind too much. I was willing to look past that so that I could enjoy using the product. But now I don't really want to keep products that I do not enjoy using because when I spray it on my face, it does not have a very pleasant scent and I don't like to smell that on my face. This is not in the project and pan right now but after i finish this one i don't think i will be repurchasing it again just because it doesn't smell so good even though i do like how it leaves my skin i have other setting sprays that kind of do the same thing like the linda halberg h2 glow mist which i'm almost running out and i'm very sad about it. this is very similar because this also has kind of an oil consistency thing you cannot see it right now but this also separated with two products and you're supposed to shake it and spray it on your face and this also can make you look very oily if you're not careful you have to use a very small amount so if I have a product which I really like that kind of does the same job as this one and it does not smell bad then I'll definitely go for this one I'm very happy that I finally finished this one okay another product that I finished is the Clarins instant light natural lip perfector I used to have two of these the other one I finished a long time ago this product it had so much inside like i don't understand how some products can never finish this took me a very long time to finish and this is a gloss this is very easy to wear i would wear it very often so that i can finish it and it did last me for many months now it's completely finished i will not buy it again just because i do not love the application of this i have other glosses that i prefer glosses with doe foot applicators i prefer a lot more than this one yeah i enjoyed it while i used it because i did like the actual gloss but the whole product just not for me anymore and the last product i finished this were quite a few products so i've been good about it the last product that i finished is the nyx honey do me up primer there are a couple of reasons why i did not like this primer this is supposed to be a hydrating primer that's also supposed to keep your makeup longer i did not find this particularly hydrating my schmas my my schmas my schmas schmas 
What? Smashbox primerizer. It's a lot more hydrating than this one if I want a hydrating primer. And also it was very sticky, which can help for your makeup to last longer, which can be a good thing so that can make your makeup actually stick to it and last longer. I did not mind the stickiness too much but what I did not like that this did not go well with quite a few of my foundations and I do not have that problem with my other primers this does not go well at all with stick foundations and I've noticed for some other foundations too it does not work so well so overall I wasn't really impressed by this product it was definitely not a necessity for me I have other primers that I prefer a lot more than this but I bought it so I use it up and I'm happy that I did now I know that I don't like needless to say I'm not gonna be buying anything so those were the products that I finished up and I'm gonna show you what products I replaced those with. Let's just show everything. So right now I'm working with these products. I still have the Physicians Formula, the healthy foundation. This is a nice foundation. I don't like the way it smells. That's why it's in here. I have about this much left, which is not a lot, but this took me a while. I clearly hadn't used it that much in the past. So this was almost full when I first started it. And I have a little bit more left. It might take me a while because now that it's summer, my skin tone is a little bit darker and I find this a little bit light for me. This might wait a little bit to be used up, but yeah, I'm still working with this one. I added the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. I actually really like this palette. I use this shade to set my eyelids all the time. I also use this quite a bit as a contouring shade. I use it for nose contouring. But the reason why I this is in my Project 10 Pan is because this is almost empty and I had to buy a new one for when this is empty and I know that this will finish a lot faster than this one so I want it to use up this shade too I don't want to throw away this palette when I use up this shade because again this is a contouring shade that I really like I know I had to buy it again because I use it all the time but I want to use this one completely up before I throw it away I am still using the Kat Von D Alchemist palette this will never finish and this was almost empty there was very little from each shade only this shade right here did not break I have very little product in each eyeshadow and I've said I will depot this one when I use up every single one of this I will consider this finished it's taking too long and there is just a tiny bit of eyeshadow left in each one of those I really like this purple shade right here I wish this was in a single I would buy it in a single because I really like using it in my inner corners but a green and a blue I don't use them that much still working with this one it's gonna take a while unexpectedly enough okay still working with this one will also take me forever still working with the MAC soft docker I have done quite a bit of dent on it but there is still quite a bit of product left I'm also still working with my NYX dark circle concealer corrector this is in the shade medium I've also done quite a bit of work on it I still have a lot of left a plot twist I ended up really liking this concealer this was in my project Pan in the first place because it was just sitting on my drawer and I never used it I also got this from my sister because she didn't really like it and I was like yeah sure I'll use it and I never ended up using it and when I put it in the project Pan, I started using it and I really like it actually I expected it to be a little bit thick and to look cakey on my under eyes but surprisingly it doesn't this is a good product so I'm not sure if this should be in the project that bun but yeah I do have a lot of it so it will not run out anytime soon and then still have my primer lip liner this is a little bit dark so I don't use it that often I have used it a little bit but I still have quite a bit left I still have my Linda Halberg daring mood i have about this much left but i will finish it i still have the nyx soft matte lip green in the shade canis this is almost finished actually i feel like i'm very close to finishing it and again this is one of my favorite if not my favorite lip product ever the only reason why this is in my project and ban is because i have a backup and this is very old this is a few years old so i thought might as well use it up and a new product that i added is my mac give me sun bronzer this is quite close i only have a little product left here so this bronzer fell on the floor in a 
big chunk of it broke. Fortunately, it did not break completely. I could still use a bunch of it. I haven't really used up the whole bronzer, but I am trying to use up the remaining bronzer. This used to be one of my favorite bronzer and I do still like it, but it is a little bit too warm and maybe a little bit almost too dark for me. I'm using it now during the summer because my skin is a little bit darker now, so it's the perfect time to use it. When I use it up, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be repurchasing it because again, this used to be one of my favorite bronzers, but I have a lot of bronzers right now and I do not need a new Give Me Sun. I'm pretty sure that this will not take too long, but you never know. Okay, now I'm very tired of speaking. I'm gonna end this here. These were all of my favorites for the past seven months, I would say. Also, the update on the Project 10 pan. Hopefully, next time I will do an update, I will have a few more products for you to talk about. I want to finish this one. I really want to finish this one, but there is so much, so much left. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here and I'm not gonna speak for the rest of the day because I'm so tired of speaking. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.